Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. A mailbox rule simply states that when items arrive to the mailbox that meet a specified criteria, they will then be processed by whatever the rule dictates should happen when an item of that type is received. You can have multiple rules applied to a single mailbox, and the rules will be acted upon in sequence from top to bottom through the list of rules created for that particular mailbox. They can also be modified at a later date or deleted entirely if they no longer apply in the future. You can also turn it them on and off without having to delete and recreate them. To create a mailbox rule, first select the mailbox folder for which you would like to create the rule. You can then start the rules wizard, which helps you fill in the necessary rule criteria and actions that you want the rule to take when something it receives in the mailbox matches your criteria. To access this wizard, select Tools from the menu bar and choose Rules and Alerts if using Outlook 2003. That launches the Rules and Alerts dialog box. Ensure that you are viewing the Email Rules tab, and then click the New Rule button in the upper left corner of this tab to launch the Rules Wizard. In the Rules Wizard dialog box that then appears, You can select either one of the predefined rules that are available and then customize it as needed, or you can create a new rule from scratch. If you start by selecting which option you would like from the two option buttons at the top of the dialog box, if you select Start Creating a Rule from a Template, you would then need to select one of the templates in the list area below that. The rule description will then appear at the bottom of the dialog box, with hyperlinks that indicate places where you need to click into and fill in the blanks in the rule template. So for example, if we chose the Stay Organized rule of Move Messages from Someone to a Folder, the rule description, where you actually click an underlined value to edit it, says apply this rule after the message arrives, from, and then you would fill in the users, move it to the, and then fill in the name of the folder. So you could click, in this case, People or Distribution List, and select a user. And where it says Move to the Specified Folder, you could simply select the folder in which to move it. So for example, anything coming from this user goes to Deleted Items, or whatever other folder you could possibly create. Just an example, of course. So if you're creating a rule from scratch, because you chose start from a blank rule, which would discard any previously specified information, then in this case you have to select when the messages should be checked, after sending or when they arrive. Then you would click next, and what conditions do you want to check? Could be people or distribution list that it's from, with specific words, sent only to me, marked as important, and you could scroll through the list looking for the different criteria by which you would want to select the incoming mail. And then click Next. What do you want to do with the message? And in this case, you would still click on the underlying values to edit it. And so here you can just type in the addresses. So for example, in this situation, we're creating a rule that says if the message arrives sent only to me, forward it to perhaps a different off-site email address. So that way you could stay in touch without being there. And then 
are there any exceptions? So for your custom rules, you can check off except if, and then click Next, and then you just give a name to the rule. And should you run the rule now or just turn it on, and then click Finish. And whether you selected a template or you created your own from scratch, all the rules will be shown in this rules box on the email rules tab. Note that like our public folder rules, you can check or uncheck the rules listed to turn them on and off. So for example, I wouldn't probably want it being forwarded to this address while I'm here, so I might disable it while I'm in the office and turn it on while I'm out. If you ever need to modify the rule, because perhaps it's not behaving the way you expected it to, you can click on it. You can then click Change Rule, Edit Rule Settings, and go back through the wizard specifying different settings. If you need to delete the rule, you can simply select it and click Delete, and it deletes the rule. Whenever you've applied, edited, deleted, or made any changes to your rule, to then apply what you have set, click OK to apply your mailbox rules. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.